Hi, Andrew Pelfrey here, back in Cows, back on the 5.5. Uh, today I just wanted to uh, concentrate a little more on the jib sheeting system that we have on this boat. Um, and you know, we have a pretty um, clean um, sheet of paper when we design the deck layout here. And what I opted for here was much like a TP52 uh, type setup, um, rather than a track, which, which um, it, it's, it's a bit of weight, it's a bit of maintenance, uh, stuff can go wrong. Um, we've just gone with um, uh, a slot in the deck, uh, this nice molded um, sort of contour here to take the line, the up-down line um, below deck for us. Uh, and uh, basically we've got anything from uh, like five degrees to about nine degrees of sheeting angle here. Uh, so we, these are controlled by um, control lines on the other side of the boat. So the, uh, the, the, the up-down line um, gives us our old kind of traditional fore-aft track effect. Um, further down it is, it, it's, it's, it's making the sheeting angle steeper and then as it gets let off, it's making the sheeting angle flatter. Um, so just like cars forward and back in the good old days. And then um, we also have um, in-out uh, control. Uh, so we can, we can bring the sheeting angle in closer or let it out from the other side of the boat. Uh, and we'd use this, um, we, we may even trim it actively if it's puffy on the upwind when the, tra the main traveller is um, working up and down, um, but more likely it's, it's a little more of a set and forget based on the wind strength. Uh, the, he the heavier the wind, the more we'll be outboard. And also if we want to mode fast forward tactically through the race, we'll, um, we, we would uh, go further outboard. And then finally, um, sometimes, yep, we do uh, overlay the mark. Um, or across the, um, the spreader leg at the top of the course, we'll let it out as well. So um, yeah, hope that helps and, and uh, has some, um, some relevance to the boat you sail. Thank you.